how to get lowered their lyrics to the 8 tint mini without uh, like a black background and just the lower thirds. So this is how we do our verses. We have a, a theme and it's called Bible verses and we have a couple of different templates here. If you want to edit those. Uh, we just have a text box with a gradient background. Um, it's important to remember to not use darker colors on these lower thirds because if you have any black or like dark 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 colors the ATEM is gonna get rid of that it's gonna look all like burnt and uh, cut out so you just want to keep bright colors for your lower thirds that's that's uh, how we do our setup here um, so we just have a text box with the background um, with this shape fill media section um, we just choose an image from our our uh, desktop that we have downloaded and then for the reference we have a little bitty box here and we just picked fill, shape fill, gradient, um, and chose a color that kind of matched with the, the background here and this lower third. So we want to go back to show. Um, so we want to get, so this is what the, the audience in the auditorium is seeing. So we have our background and we go to our verses. So let's see, uh, we use this verse today. So this is how it looks in the auditorium. But if we go here, uh, we want the A10 Mini over there to see just the lower third. So to fix that, we go to screens. Uh, we have configure screens here. We have our auditorium screen, and then we added our HDMI out. This is what it's reading. It's reading this BMD HDMI as what's going to the A10. So to get the lower third only on stream and not the background, you go to screen now and this section right here, the top section. So what we have live right now is our stream versus only. Um, we have a pre-service and a lyrics one too, but we, we're using stream versus right now. So you go to edit looks and when you edit looks, um, you'll see here you have an auditorium screen section and an ATEM screen section. This ATEM screen is what's over here on the right side of the screen. Right now, if you want to see what's on auditorium, it's on auditorium, but we want to see what's on the A10. So we, this is what's coming up on the A10 right now, just a black screen with the lower thirds. To get that, we're in screens, edit looks, and right here. So we go to our A10 screen section, and we want to get rid of the media section right here, because media is what's behind it. Uh, we have our little slide so we want to get rid of that so we deselect it it's going to go away and we have the slide and everything else selected because if you take out the slide it's going to take out the verse so slide we want media we don't so this is important too if you don't have your template selected here that you made earlier with the bible verse uh, the way you want it to look it it'll just come out however the default setting is so we want to make sure it's on the right template here. So your Bible verse template, and it's gonna come up like that. So you just save that. And this is gonna be your screen, live stream versus section right here. So as long as that's activated, you're good to display this on stream. So I'll show you what it looks like over there now. Okay. So now that we have our HDMI um, and Pro Presenter set up, this is how it's gonna look on our on uh, the ATEM. So for us, we have the ProPresenter PC plugged into the first HDMI slot. And then we have three cameras that we use. The second one's not plugged in right now because it's, it's my camera that I'm using. Um, so you want to get the lower third to pop up on the program screen up there um, without, mess without going away when you switch the uh, other angles. So I tried messing with upstream key, but I could not figure out how to do that. So what I do is I go to um, the palette section right here in the ATEM. I go to switcher, palettes, and then see for the upstream key section right here, we have DVE selected. Once you have that selected, make sure your fill source is on, uh, make sure you have your PC selected. So whatever your your channel up here uh, has the PC uh, slides on it, which uh, for us it's called ProPres PC. 
you want to select that here on the fill source pro Prez pc so once you have that selected uh, you're going to go down to the downstream key and do the same thing so open downstream key uh, make sure your fill, fill source is on ProPres PC, uh, whatever you have your ProPres enter uh, called up there um, for fill and key. And then this is the important part right here. The pre multiplied key, it might be selected already for you, but uh, you have to, I have to deselect it. And this clip section right here is important. Uh, the gain we have to 100%, but the clip, it's going to be at some random number probably. So if you have it all the way at 100, and you try to send your pro presenter lyrics uh, or a lower third to the screen using this uh, downstream key section right here button. So you hit the on air, clipping is on 100%. So I'm gonna drag this down here to about 50 and you should see it come back up. Okay, so you see how it looks all like, there's no there's no background on the, on the lower third yet. So to get that, um, make sure you have the on air selected on downstream key and you want to keep dragging your clip all the way to the left until you see it get full just like that so once you have the lower th uh third full with color um like how you want it you just leave it like that um so for us it's on clip 34.2 percent right now so you don't want to go too much because if you go too much to the left, you'll start to see the black background come back. So I'm going to keep going to the left now and you'll see the black background come back. And that's because clipping is on 0% now. So I'm going to drag it back to 30% and you'll see the lower third back, just the lower third, no black. And I like the downstream key because um, once it's on air, you can switch cameras without it coming off. Just like that. So that's how we have our lower thirds set up for stream. This is how it looks in the auditorium. It's just a uh, big lyrics on top of the screen, but we want little lyrics for the ATEM screen right here, because this is going to the stream. So right now it's still on the versus template, but we don't want it to look like that. We want it to look just like little bitty lyrics at the bottom. So to fix that, you go to screens and we go to edit looks on this section right here. And we already have a string lyric section, but if you don't have one, you only have the stream verses, you just make a new one right here, and then you retitle it stream lyrics. So ours is stream lyrics. Uh, we have our auditorium and ATEM here. We got rid of the media because we don't want any background um, by the verse, behind the verses, or the, the lyrics, sorry. We leave slide, we leave everything else. Presentation, uh, the theme. We made another theme down here specifically for string lyrics. And this is what it looks like. The template, you click that template because you want that to show up for the stream. And if you make it live right here, that's what's uh, showing on the ATEM now. So to switch from the ATEM bottom lyrics uh, and bottom verses, you just go to screens here and you can do it real quick on this live section. So right now it's on lyrics. If you wanna go back to verses, click that and that's for when you're displaying your verses over here but if you're just doing lyrics you go to screens you're live and you just pick your stream lyrics section and that is what this edit looks section is right here stream lyrics so as long as that's live and you're seeing it here on the ATEM screen then you're good to go and then I'll show you how to get rid of the background so once you have your lower third popping up like that now you just want to hit the downstream key again on air and make sure your clip is around the same area as it was earlier and if you see the black background it's because you're on clip zero so if you drag the clip to the right you'll see that go away and then you'll just see the lyrics there on the bottom and then they still stay up there whenever you switch cameras